welcome back to my channel and to another what I eat in a day vlog so for my breakfast it has not changed I always eat oatmeal but I don't sweeten it anymore with stevia or brown sugar or maple syrup I just use a banana and this whole bowl was literally only a quarter cup of steel cut oats to two cups of water and I'm not saying, you know, look how little you can eat, but I'm just saying like, look how much a little bit of oatmeal makes. So that is a quarter cup of steel cut oats cut, uh, cooked in two cups of water. And then at the very end to sweeten it, I chop up a banana and throw it in the pot with the oatmeal and let it cook in there for the like the last minute or two. And it sweetens the whole bowl of oatmeal up. So I don't feel like I need anything else on top. And lately I've been loving putting like apple and pumpkin pie spice on it or today I have strawberries and frozen blueberries. I always have a cup of tea especially now that it's getting chillier and it's fall and today I'm having sweet harvest pumpkin and it's really good and I always put like a splash of soy milk in there because I like it creamy and I do sweeten my tea with stevia because I love sweet tea. And then veggies as you can see I am eating way less veggies at breakfast and less oatmeal than I used to just because I am a much smaller person now but I'm still trying to eat a little bit of veggies but honestly I don't think I can finish all of this lately I have been lazy and not eating my veggies in the morning because the oatmeal is just so much and I don't want to cut the oatmeal into less because it's already not a ton of calories so moral of the story is always listen to your body do what feels right all right so I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then I've just got chores around the homestead so apparently we're having a blizzard come in or a snowstorm come in the day after tomorrow and I need to chop a bunch of wood and get some kindling cut for the fireplace so I'm really looking forward to not so much the cold and the snow but to having a fire in the fireplace it's exciting for me lunch is this beautiful vegetable pulao. I made a huge batch the other night and every time I make it I make a really big batch and then I just eat the leftovers all week long. My kids like to take the leftovers in their lunch as well. So I just put it on top of greens and I put a little lime on it and this is so good. I will link the recipe in the description box for you guys. It is not my recipe. It is really easy. My friend Harsh Deep has an amazing channel that you guys should really check out. He does all plant-based oil-free Indian food and guys it tastes just like the restaurant everything of his is amazing and so simple so again I'll link that in the description box make sure you guys check him out he's amazing and if I am still hungry after this big bowl I will have another bowl seriously when you eat whole food plant-based you really do not have to worry about how much you're eating I just eat until I'm really full and this is how I've lost weight. So when I'm done eating my lunch, I will do a quick body update for you guys as well. Okay, so body-wise, I put on a more form-fitting shirt so you guys can see. So I don't own a scale, so I can't tell you for sure how much weight I have lost in addition to the 66 pounds. All I know is that my clothes are fitting a little looser. So this is currently what I look like. As you can see, I'm pretty slim and trim. I used to have 66 more pounds on me. Can you guys believe that? And so these pants were pretty snug um, at the beginning of the summer and of spring, and now they're pretty loose, you know, nothing too dramatic, but I can definitely tell that they have loosened up on me. So yeah, I mean, from the get-go, I made this journey about health and not about the skinny. And once I got into that healthy weight range, I was like, hallelujah because i never thought it was gonna happen especially eating all the carbs i eat but yay plant-based so i don't like i said own a scale i don't think it's a good idea to own a scale especially if you're a female because we tend to hop on it 
one time, two times, three times a day, let alone once a week. And I think we tend to fixate on the number too much. And I just wanna encourage you guys to make this about health and not about the skinny. You know, if you're in that healthy weight range, then like, who cares what the scale says? Um, people ask me a lot about what do I do for exercise? How did I lose all the weight exercise wise? And I am telling you guys, it's mostly how you eat. Cause all I did was walk. I walked 30 to 40 minutes a day and I still do that to this day and I try to walk briskly. Um, I do have an active lifestyle though. I, I like to hike a lot and bike and I have property to maintain. So I am always moving. Um, and recently I have started trying to put muscle back on because I felt like my legs were getting too skinny. So I am working really hard to put a little bit more muscle on. But other than that guys, just eat the food. If you eat a whole food plant-based diet, you really do not have to worry about overeating. I eat until I am full. If I want a snack, I get a snack. And snacks are usually fruit for me. I will tell you, I don't like stopping for a snack. I find it annoying to have to come in, especially if I'm on the other end of the property, if I have to come in for a snack. So I try to like eat till I'm full, like full at meal time. But yeah, have a snack. And I always, you guys know, have a snack right before bed. So that is where I'm at right now. I'll show you guys again. So, it's been so much healthier. I just can't believe it. All right, so to begin with for this veggie pot pie, it's really simple. We're just gonna start by water sauteing mushrooms, onion, and a little bit of asparagus, and just until the mushrooms have cooked down. I'm gonna add a little garlic salt. You can add just garlic powder if you want. All right, and while the mushrooms cook down, I'm gonna boil about four medium-sized potatoes that I've diced, and I'm gonna get those cooked up to throw into the veggie pot pie as well. Okay, now that it's cooked down, I'm gonna add two bags of these mixed veggies. Okay, and now I'm gonna add one container of this veggie stock. Okay, and I'm gonna turn that up high and bring it to a boil. Okay, now that this is boiling, I'm gonna add five tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with water to thicken it up. And I will put this all in the description box so you guys know exactly what I'm doing so you guys can do it too. And then you wanna bring that back up to a boil so it starts to thicken. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna add one cup, half a cup to one cup of this soy milk. Okay, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of garlic powder. Super important to get that pot pie flavor. You wanna add poultry seasoning. Oops, so I'm gonna start with half a teaspoon. And then some pepper. And then of course, I'm gonna add salt to this because I am not completely salt free, but you can do whatever you want. You can salt it to your taste or leave it out if you do salt free. Some salt to this for us. And I'm gonna add another teaspoon or half teaspoon of garlic for a teaspoon total. I'm gonna put a little more poultry seasoning in. All right, and then that should be good to pour in our dish. So for the top of the pot pie, I'm just gonna use these phyllo, this phyllo dough. Now I already took my portion out because I am gluten free. So all I do is just kind of wad up these sheets. Now you can make a biscuit mix if you want, but it's so messy and it's like one more step. And this is a vegan one that I buy at the natural grocery store. So it makes it easier. Okay, so we are done with dinner and I was not able to show you what dinner looked like taken out of the pretty dish and into a 
bowl because my family had been circling like sharks, insisting that they were starving and threatening mutiny. So as soon as I pulled it out, everybody dug in and they were literally burning themselves as they were eating because they were so hungry. So then Nacho started eating a crayon and then my daughter accidentally spilled her second helping over me as she was passing me to take her seat. So you mamas know how it goes sometimes. Okay. Before I say goodbye, I am going to show you what I've been doing differently about snack time. No, I have not chosen a different before bed snack. I just love frozen cherries. Maybe someday I'll pick a different frozen food. Don't know. But frozen cherries and the other night my husband decided he wanted to have some and he decided to go to the cabinet and pull out chocolate sprinkles and put them on his cherries and I was like, whoo. It's a really good idea but those sprinkles are besides being at least like five years old they have vegetable oil in them and he doesn't care about a little bit of a sprinkle but I instead reached for these vegan mini chocolate chips and you can find them at Walmart they're a lot cheaper than the health food store so I just take a little bit like that and after I've let my cherries sit out for a couple minutes just so they soften up a little bit I just sprinkle the chocolate chips on there and it is amazing an amazing yummy dessert and I did buy some natural sprinkles just to have like some crunch on there that weren't the chocolate ones they were just like just sprinkles you put on a cupcake but I ate them all so I do put those on there I don't know I just like the crunch but I can't show you that because again like I said I ate them all anyway give it a try guys cherries and chocolate are awesome all right, so that is it for this installment of How I Eat in a Day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and all the comments. It's been a really fun journey sharing with you guys. Remember to keep things about health and not about the skinny. You're amazing. You can do it. I love you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.